Now I'm going to show you a couple other modules that are quite interesting. First one is one of my uh, favorites. I think one of the more useful ones. It's called the time module. And the time module um, allows you to do several things. One is to uh, acquire the current local time. And that's with the function called strf time, which I believe stands for formatted string time. And there's a code that we can use to indicate how we would like that time to be uh, expressed. If we want it to be hours, colon, minutes, colon, seconds, we just input as the argument um, this string here. And then it will produce the local time and print it on the screen. That is, so that is an example of a function that we're importing which uh, takes an argument and then produces a return value that we can print. But there's another function in the time module called sleep. This is, again, it takes an argument, which is the number of seconds that you want the program to suspend its execution, but it does not return any value. Instead, it actually does something it makes essentially makes your program go to sleep for three seconds. So um, we can do that. And then after the three seconds are up, we can have it print the time again. So let's go ahead and run that. OK, it doesn't know what that is. That's because I forgot to import the time module. Let's try that again. All right, it's sleeping for three seconds. And it's now awake. And we can see if we check the clock times, they are three seconds apart. If I run the script again, I get a different time. But again, it sleeps for three seconds. So this is a, a good example showing that um, functions do not have to return a value. They can return a value, like in this case, but they can also not return a value and just do something instead.